Time now for our weekly market monitor who likes stocks that he says are leading the digital transformation and names you should own longer term. This is his first time on the program. Joining us is Michael Lippert, portfolio manager of the Barron Opportunity Fund. Welcome, Mike. Nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. Let's get right to your picks. As we said, uh, leading technology companies, Guidewire Software is the first one. Why do you like it? Yeah, they sell software to the property and casualty insurance in industry, a massive industry. This industry is still on mostly on green screen technology, and they're going to the shift to modern digital software and um, interacting with their customers in a different way. Guidewire is dominant in this space. Um, they've never lost a customer. It's uh, very few uh, businesses that can say that. And the shift to the cloud for them is uh, very, very beneficial. They're, uh, their deals will be two to three times as large as their current deals are today, and the profits will be at least one and a half to two times. So the shift to the cloud is very beneficial to them. And I'm seeing a trend here with your three picks tonight. The second one's very familiar, Adobe, but you mentioned the cloud, and that's, been, that's where they are now as well. Yeah, I think this shift has, has happened all across software, right? You don't have to load the software on your computer, manage it yourself. Now your provider, like Amazon or Facebook, is providing the software, the services, and the, and the analytics to you. Adobe does the same thing, and, and they're participating in big trends, um, producing and distributing digital content, um, marketing and, and advertising over digital means, and, and they're one of the big players there. And you know what's incredible at, about Adobe is they're a very high margin business, and everyone at home knows this. They, they can turn almost 40 cents of each dollar of revenue into actual cash at the end, at the bottom line. That's really impressive. And Microsoft is your last pick. You said you weren't quite sure that they were going to be able to transition and kind of turn, turn reinvent themselves, uh, but they managed to do it in your assessment. Yeah, I think for a, a long time there was debate whether or not they would get out of the Windows and, and PC generation to the cloud generation. I think Satya Nardella as the CEO has really done that for the company. Um, you've seen a lot of legacy software businesses, tech businesses never cross. Microsoft has. Um, they're now one of the two dominant players in the cloud, along with you know Amazon's AWS and Microsoft's Azure business is still growing about 75% and their total cloud business, which includes Office 365, is growing over 50%. So I think Amazon has a, uh, sorry, Microsoft has a long runway of, of double digit growth and also generating great profits and free cash flow. Very quickly, we hear from so many money managers who like companies because of their participation in the cloud. How much is left in the cloud growth strategy? Do you yeah, think? I, I really think we're in the in the very very early innings of that. I think, you know, the way um, we could capture data, the way we could deliver software and analytics, we're just starting to move to the cloud. Most of information technology spending is still done the old way. Um, and I think when you think about the, the transitions like this or the generations like this, this will honestly last 20 or 30 years. We're 5, 10 into it, so we got a long way to go. All right. Mike, thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thank you. Mike Lippert with the Barron Opportunity Fund.